hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a super moisturizing hair butter using only natural ingredient if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it so the first ingredient you're going to need to make this amazing hair growth butter is shea butter so i purchased my shea butter from amazon if you don't have shea butter you can use mango butter or avocado butter just basically use whatever butter that works best for your hair type shea butter contains vitamin a and e with fatic acid as well which can moisturize your hair and add shine to your hair it softens dry brutal hair it repairs split damage ends as well as this shea butter also prevents hair loss promotes hair growth helps to treat scalp conditions and improve the overall health of your scalp i'm going to be adding three tablespoons of shea butter into the bowl our next ingredient is avocado butter so avocado butter contains vitamin b and fatic acid which helps to restore your hair it protects your hair from damage stop hair loss and hair breakage it's also amazing for those that have thin to fine hair i'm also going to be adding olive oil olive oil helps to strengthen your hair follicles increase lifespan of each hair it helps to grow your hair it also helps to encourage hair growth it reduces hair loss and it moisturizes your hair as well you can add any oil of your choice add any oil that is suitable for your hair type okay you can use oil such as coconut oil almond oil grapeseed oil avocado oil um, sunflower oil basically just add whatever your hair loves okay add whatever oil your hair loves the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is rosemary leaves so i'm going to be using the fresh rosemary leaves you can also use the dry rosemary leaves as well but i would suggest always use the fresh rosemary leaves instead of the dry one so rosemary is amazing for our hair it's one of my favorite natural ingredients to use i literally use rosemary in all my diy hair growth recipe rosemary helps to stimulate scalp circulation and it can be used to grow long hair it prevents baldness and it stimulates new hair growth as well especially in boarding area so if you have a bald spot using rosemary on those areas will grow back those areas really quick okay it adds shine to your hair as well it prevents and reduces dandruffs it's amazing for overall health of your hair as well the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is cloves so i'm going to be adding three tablespoons of cloves so to save time i went ahead and blend my cloves off camera so once you're done blending this is how the cloves she looks like cloves helps to fight against dandruffs it prevents the itchiness sensation cloves can also help to promote hair growth when applied to the root of your hair it can also repair damaged hair strengthen your hair and add a healthy shine to your hair shaft when apply regularly on your hair once i'm done adding all my ingredients i'm going to be using the double boiler method to infuse and melt the oil together so i'm going to allow it to boil for about 20 minutes okay so guys if you guys are still watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair 
using natural ingredient and um, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to turn on your post notification so that each time I upload new videos such as hair growth recipe you will be the first to watch so after 20 minutes this is how it looks like I'm going to go ahead and turn off the cooker then I'm going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes after cooling down this is how it looks like now I'm going to go ahead and strain it out so make sure whatever you're using to strain out your oil has a very tiny hose because you don't want to have any particles from the cloves in your hair butter once I'm done straining this is how it looks like now I'm going to go ahead and cover the bowl and place the bowl in the freezer for about 10 minutes so basically until the oil is solid we need the oil to be solid before mixing it together after 10 to 15 minutes this is how it looks like now I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to a bigger bowl Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and mix it with my electric mixer. So if you don't have electric mixer, it's fine. You can also use your spoon to mix it together. So make sure to mix the butter very well. I usually spend around five to 10 minutes mixing the butter. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of Jamaican black castor oil. Jamaican black castor oil contain omega-6 and omega-9 fatty acid. The fatty acid helps to nourish the scalp and strengthen the hair root. As well as this, it improves the blood flow to the scalp which encourage new hair growth it also helps to treat thinning hair so i would suggest if you have thin to fine hair you should definitely consider using jamaican black castor oil if you use it on a regular basis it will definitely thicken your hair the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is vitamin e oil I'm also going to be adding few drops of tea tree essential oil and peppermint essential oil. So remember guys, this part is optional, okay? So if you don't like essential oil, you don't have to add it. And if you don't like the essential oil that I'm adding, add whatever essential oil that you like. You can add rosemary, you can add um, peppermint, lavender, add whatever essential oil that you like. So what I love about this hair butter is that there are different ways in which you can use this hair growth butter. The first way in which you can use this hair growth butter is as a pre-shampoo treatment. So you can use it before you wash your hair. So basically just apply the butter to the entire hair, cover your hair with a shower cap, allow it to sit for about 45 minutes to one hour. After one hour, you can proceed with your wash day. The second ways in which you can use this amazing hair growth butter is to seal in moisture to your hair. You can also use this hair butter as overnight hair growth treatment, okay? So basically just apply it to your hair at night, then you can wash it off the next day. So once I'm done mixing the hair butter, this is how it looks like. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this hair growth butter to seal in moisture to your hair. So the first thing I did was I applied my hair growth spray, which is the cloves, rosemary and aloe vera hairspray. So I make sure that the hair is fully saturated with a hair growth spray. I section the hair, make sure to always work in section. So what this does is that it just basically gives you control and the product can easily penetrate into your hair strands and your scalp as well, if you're applying it to your scalp. 
I went ahead and applied the cloves and rosemary hair butter. I used my fingers to finger detangle that section. Then I apply my hair growth oil to seal in moisture to the hair. So if you're interested on how I made this hair growth oil, I would suggest you should check out my channel. I have different hair growth oil you can pick from. So just pick whatever you think your hair may like and make yourself one. Once I'm done applying my hair growth oil, I went ahead and put the hair in a simple protective style. As always, I always put the girl's hair in twist because it doesn't put so much stress on the hair and it really grows the hair really fast compared to box braid and braid. I noticed that box braid or braid usually breaks the girl's hair okay so if you're not a big fan of twist just put your hair in a simple protective style protective style that doesn't put so much stress on your edges your crown section and the back of your hair you can use this hair growth butter daily and you can also store it in a cool place this butter can last you for about three to four months so guys remember to always apply your lco or your LOC method. If you don't, your hair is going to dry out and you don't want to experience hair breakage, especially if you're going to be using a water-based spray or oil. Water-based and oil will not moisturize your hair, okay? You need to apply hair butter or your favorite leave-in conditioner or you're going to experience hair shedding, hair breakage, and your hair is going to dry out. So when you're trying to grow out your hair, the aim is to seal in moisture to your hair and retain length. So in order to avoid hair breakage, hair shedding, hair loss, always remember to apply your LCO method or your LOC method. So as I said, guys, just pick whatever method that works best for your hair type. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment in the comment section if you have any question for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.